if you want like the legitimate Lay's repurposed packets, I found that this store has Lay's. They have they don't have like the same flavors of Lay's that Balenciaga had. They have like a tzatziki one. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. You'll super love it. Watched the Balenciaga fashion show a few days ago, and oh my gosh, guys, I don't know if you've watched it, but their faces look so scary. The whole fashion show was really fun to watch. The way that they were trudging through the mud, the, the lady at the end who looked like she was gonna kill someone, the whole thing was just so dramatic. I really wanted to talk about some of the bags on this runway today, and honestly, I couldn't find really many close-up pictures of some of these bags. There was this really weird shoulder bag, which was like a glove, like meshed with a bag and like a sleeve. It was almost like a bag that was like morphing into the clothing which was very interesting but i couldn't find many close-up pictures of this bag uh, there was also at the very end a bag dress so like the motorcycle bag or a city bag i don't know if it was also the look goal maybe combined and uh, just into a dress which was crazy it was hilarious but i think the most talked about bag in this collection is definitely the lays bag so Apparently Balenciaga have collaborated with Lay's, the chip brand, and they have developed this clutch bag which looks exactly like an empty chip packet. And I wanted to ask you guys, like, are you willing to buy this bag? Because honestly, the shopaholic in me when I first saw it was like, okay, that is hilarious, I need it because I love fashion where, like, when you wear it in real life, it kind of brightens up people's day. I was feeling really depressed yesterday and then I saw a girl wearing this really cool outfit and she had a Fiorucci like jumper and like I don't know she was just really cute and she had these cute shoes on and honestly as soon as I saw her like she literally lifted my mood like times a hundred so I really like fashion that is kind of funny to laugh at or just like whimsical or whimsical I don't know or playful I really enjoy fashion like that and I feel like this bag it is just like a talking point it's funny I, I was reading some of the comments on like Instagram and uh, I don't know different forums and stuff and a lot of people were saying that it's too similar to what Moschino has already done and Moschino have definitely done a lot of novelty bags similar to this in the past I discovered like around 2014 I think it was spring summer collection they did gowns that had kind of twisted wrappers style like they were inspired by packaging and they had like nutritional information on them and if you look at some of their perfumes there's the fresh spray bottle and they've kind of played around with uh packaging a lot and reinvented it into bags like cereal bags and I about this one is it literally looks like exactly like a Lay's packet whereas the Moschino ones they kind of incorporated they're a little bit more unique the Moschino ones and they're almost funnier like they're really like kind of making light of the packet like you never really notice like food packaging in your everyday life you just see it and like ah uh. but when you really look at it guys it is like really crazy and intense like I never really looked at the Lay's packaging but when you look at the Balenciaga Lay's bag it really makes you realize how like hypnotizing this packaging is I mean look at the circles it literally looks like a hypnotic wheel like when you look at the Lay's packet and I had to look at the actual Lay's packets to see if this was like accurate and they actually have that swirl in it which i think is so weird and then look how perfect the chips are and the perfect potato and then just everything about the packaging actually guys is very captivating but I, it's nothing i've really paid attention to until balenciaga made it into a bag um there's also going to be the barbecue flavor or spicy chili flavor this one is also like hilarious to look at and my favorite is probably like the the lemon lime or sour cream it's like a lemon lime flavor is that what it's light and tangy it's probably light and tangy and they have the little lime zests on it i mean adorable and like this is literally like the lace packet so the thing I like about the Balenciaga one, it literally looks like the Lay's packet. And when you look at the way that they've created it, um, on the runway, they were clutching it like this. And the inside looks like aluminium foil. It, The thinness of it and the way it drapes, it just looks like a chip packet. Denma was seen wearing uh, the... He, I don't know if he... I don't think he was actually wearing the clutch. I think he was just actually 
holding a Lay's chip packet. But yeah, I don't know, like Demna is the designer of Balenciaga. I mean, it's just hilarious is ma the main thing, but I guess also when they're walking down the runway, it looks like they'd been going through a lot, like a comet had hit the earth or something and there's like nothing left to eat maybe. And all they had was like packaged food, like chips left eating all the chips and there's like nothing left and they're just clutching onto their empty chip packet. Maybe it's like symbolizes like everything that we have left is just like junk basically, like Lay's. I mean because like when you see it presented in this way it is kind of hilarious but then it's also like oh but I never noticed it was this stupid like in the supermarket but when you put it in a fashion context it looks really ridiculous but then why is it ridiculous like we eat Lay's all the time right? If you love the Lay's Balenciaga bag because honestly I love it like I kind of want it but it is about 2000 I think it's almost $2000 like 1800 uh usd and it is made of leather apparently so you might think that's worth it i honestly think it's a talking point i think if i was carrying it it's just like a hilarious collectible but if you don't really want to pay the balenciaga prices well you could go on alibaba and buy a similar crossbody for one dollar ninety um, to me, this doesn't have the same effect, but, and you can also get, like, the, on Etsy, there's a store called C-Zone Avenue, where you can buy the, the Lay's blanket. I think this one is pretty cool, because it has the, like, official Lay's font. Now, it's not official Lay's merchandise, like, the Balenciaga collaboration, I guess they have the licensing, uh, it's, a, like, an actual collaboration with Lay's. Um, I also found these really cute little uh, Street Smart earrings from the Street Smart earring shop. Uh, they've created these Lay's chip earrings. But I think the best ones I found on the internet that are not Balenciaga is the Etsy stores who have upcycled actual chip packages. I think this is like probably the next best thing if you don't want to buy the Balenciaga one. Actually get an upcycled uh actual chip packet because I think that it, it not only captures the real essence of the chips it is literally the chip packet. There is this store in Australia called Chip in SA. I think they might be in South Australia and they have repurposed uh, a lot of chip packages so you can get the Red Rock Deli ones, they have Smith's, they have Kettle, uh, they have Dairy Milk. I mean this is just like hilarious. Samboy. Uh, these are all Aussie brands, guys, so I don't know if in America you have the same brands, but the thing that's different about these is that the zip is down the side, so I think the Balenciaga one does look better because they have the zip at the top, so it's like literally where you open up the chips, and I like how with the Balenciaga one, when you clutch it, it looks like an open chip packet, whereas these, they're kind of just like little clutches you would wear like this, but honestly, guys, for the price, it is like 10 times less to buy the... Yeah, it's, it's so much less to buy these guys, so you may as well just get this one. Honestly, it's only 25 Australian, 20 Australian dollars compared to 1,800. I mean, I kind of am curious, should I buy one of these chip bags, guys? Like, I'm kind of curious. I think it'd be make a hilarious gift as well, and you're supporting a smaller business. They obviously have been doing this before Balenciaga, so... Balenciaga perhaps was inspired by Etsy with their runway show. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they were inspired by Moschino. I mean, it's nothing new, this whole repurposing um, chip packets thing. It's been done. Um, but I still kind of like the Balenciaga one. I don't know, guys. I, I don't know. Uh, oh, guys, and I also found this other store that does the same thing called Eccentric Soup. And theirs look a little bit more shinier compared to uh, the other store that I looked at. So you might want to look at the selection of chip packets that they have. I found a cute Doritos one. And there's actually a store called Bailey Cern Designs that has chip, the actual Lay's. So if you want like the legitimate Lay's repurposed packets, I found that this store has Lay's. They, have, they don't have like the same flavors of Lay's that Balenciaga had. They have like a tzatziki one and some tikka masala flavor, which I don't know what's like, they don't have these flavors in Australia, guys. But yeah, um, if you want the actual Lay's, then maybe go for this Etsy store, Bailey Stern Designs. Honestly, like kind of low key want to get this Lay's one because <laughs> it looks like 
I don't know, I'm making fun of Balenciaga by wearing it. Uh, you can definitely go on like uh, Alibaba or like, I don't know, one of those cheap at Wish or something to buy a chip packet bag, but I personally would go to Etsy and buy a repurposed chip bag. I think that would be really cool. Or perhaps, guys, you could literally get a chip packet and try and make it yourself. I don't know if that would be hard to do. Let me know if you've done that before. Uh, but yeah, guys, would you buy the Balenciaga chip bag? I mean, I'm really excited to see it in real life. I wonder if it will sell out because, you know, um, sometimes these really weird bags, you think they'll sell out, but then they don't. But I have a feeling that it will sell out. I think it's, like, it is expensive, but when you're paying designer bag money, it's not that expensive so I think rich people or people who are willing to invest in bags will still buy it I think the Etsy alternative is also a good option so yeah anyways thanks for listening to my blabby video today I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you on my next one bye